don't want a banana! <laughs> you change the tire! No, you change the tire! I'm the one who took the baton! Oh, I am not on the pill! <laughs> yeah, they removed one of the nipples that was on my back. <laughs> well, don't touch it! Welcome to Pop-Up Video! I'm Jan Arden, this is my sidekick Mitty, and we've come up with Pop-Up Video. Well, actually she did. You're gonna find out stuff about season two every single episode that you didn't even think you wanted to know. Pop-Up Video! In the arms of the angel your mom to stop texting. Oh. 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 I do want to preface all this by telling you that I had just had my gallbladder out, but I did not have to fall out of the bunk myself. It was a lovely young woman in her 20s that was able to fall out of there. My family needs me. Does this thing go any faster? My sister's having a kitchen baby. This was mine? These were mine? No, those are mine. I love tour buses. Did you know that you cannot poo on a tour bus? If you really have to go, you have to literally go in a bag, and I'm not kidding you. What? That woman has issues. This is the first uh, velour suit I've ever worn in my life, and it's something I could really get used to. Yeah. I bet you could pick me up. Yeah, I'm sure I could. Still got it going on. Why does it seem like nobody's happy to see me? Maybe it's because people are still upset. Because I went on tour. Your sister was put on bed rest and your mother was diagnosed with Alzheimer's, but you left anyway. The whole trip was a disaster. It's not like I had a good time. That's a shame. There were days I was scared for my life. <laughs> Whoa, 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 no, 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 the chili's bad. We gotta send some runners out to get some plastic sheets for the bus. <gasps> Seriously? Sharon Taylor is such an amazing actor. She has all her own hair and teeth. She blames the whole run of bad luck on losing her lucky scrunchie. So basically the woman has revealed herself to be a superstitious nutcase. That's a lucky scrunchie. Exactly. I once made love on a tour bus. Please, Mom, can I finish my story? guy named Tom Carey that works with me all day long reading me lines and helping me go over and over and over them so when I'm watching this and there are words coming out of my mouth I have no recollection of ever knowing those words hip two what's going on oh here we go oh. mom aren't you gonna stay with me oh I have a grandbaby to cuddle and Cynthia promised that we'd go to the Dairy Queen before we get back you couldn't have stopped at the Dairy Queen before you dropped me off? Can I ask you something? Ask away. How do you know if you're the person who's right or the person who is wrong? I don't know how I know. I just know. Yeah, no? Thanks for nothing. No problem. Hey, Rhonda! Oh, hi, Jan. Welcome home. You want to hang out? Jan, I got salsa class tonight. We're making miles. Woo! So what's in the envelope? Hot off the presses. It's the first copy of your memoir. Oh, yeah. I forgot that I had Todd write this for me. I don't know, you do it. 
Is the title of my book? Don't ask me. This is between you and Todd. Hey, Jen, quick question for you. What do you want the title of your memoir to be? I don't know. You do it. What is all this? I used some of my burning woman money to buy Max and the family a bunch of stuff. It's just the kind of thoughtful person I am. 16-gallon jar of pickles, fireplace tools, an enormous teddy bear, kitty pool. I'm very, very used to shopping at bulk stores. It's one of my favorite outings. See this turnout? Your visibility's up since Burning Woman. Is my family here? Doubtful. Wrong! My family totally supports me. Hi, Charlie. Hey! Hi. Jan's niece? I know you know my name, Kale. And I actually have done real, live, honest-to-God book signings at Costco, and they were very enjoyable. Listen, if you get your book in a Costco, you've made it. She's a singer, she's a songwriter, and now she's an author. Jen Arden! <laughs> hey, Todd. Great to see you. Great to see you. You waited in line to see me? He didn't buy the express pass. Will you sign my book? Of course. Jason Blicker, when he came in and auditioned for the role of Todd, he made me laugh so hard that I think I blew like one of my nostrils out. He had a granny pack, three pairs of glasses around his neck, a notepad. He's like one of those guys, one of those actors that, is it called method acting? Like, I don't know the difference between Jason and Todd sometimes. Maybe you could name her after Dad. It's not a bad idea. I kind of like it. James. Jan? What? I didn't even think their hearing was developed at this point. I, I didn't. The fight scene with Sarah McLaughlin. Do I actually not get along with Sarah McLaughlin in real life? Well, I don't want to talk about it. I just want to say, and Sarah is delusional if she thinks this is true. She says that I was on Lilith Fair. I was never on Lilith Fair. I was not invited on Lilith Fair. And quite frankly, I think Sarah was jealous of me and very afraid of my star power in the 90s. I think I had one song on the radio. Would it have killed her to put me on Lilith Fair? So this fight was a long time coming. <laughs> I just get to brawl with Sarah McLaughlin. I have her lucky scrunchie. I stole it from her, among other things. I stole a lot of stuff that didn't make it on TV, but I think I took a couple of her Grammys. I think I took a bunch of stuff. But Sarah McLaughlin was really up for it. She was a good sport. She played herself. I should stop this, huh? Let's just see how this plays out.